Hey Leo, it's Goddess Puff and welcome to your reading. I just saw a rainbow, then I saw ice cream. So let's get into it for Leo. Oh, and I'm seeing an umbrella or a parasol. You're all having a nice day. I don't know if you're going to the, the beach or the park, but the sun is shining, birds are chirping. <laughs> I just heard the sun shines out of your ass. <laughs> like you're just having a good day for ferocity you could be dealing with a, a a taurus aries uh i don't know why i heard virgo capricorn mouse advantage wasp revenge leo or virgo with that energy and lizard survival so i don't feel like there's you're like taking any actual revenge on anything i just feel like what's that quote um your your revenge is having a better life, building your money up. I feel like you have so much energy right now, like eight of wands, and you're like aggressively going after your goals. So your your money is your revenge in a like in a way. I feel like you're doing it for yourself. You're not worried about nobody else. I just feel like you're back with the vengeance. You're just you're making moves, uh, conquering goals with lizard survival and revenge. So I see you getting a pay raise, promotion. Your money's going up in some way, shape, or form because you're putting the time, energy, and effort into it. You have advantage, literally, with ferocity and survival. This is all going towards your wealth. Other people could be seeing it as revenge or other people could be trying to like compete with you, but you don't even notice it. You don't even care. You're so tunnel visioned and focused on you. For Leo... All I can, all I keep hearing is you're back with a vengeance. I keep hearing that quote in my head. You're back with a vengeance. So I don't know if you just got back to something, back to work, back to a platform, back to school. You just got back to something and it's like you just on go. You're just washing people, blowing people out of the water. And you're not even trying to do it on purpose. You're just so focused on your goal that other people are like, damn, Leo. <laughs> It's like you get to work and you speed through your work and you're done halfway through the day. You getting tomorrow's work done. Base chakra. Yeah, you, you're just focused on your, your base foundation. Um, making sure you and yours is good. That's what you focused on. The waiting game. So you know something's going to take time anyway, so you're getting it done ahead of time. So you know, like, no matter how hard or much you push yourself now, it's still not going to be ready until a certain time frame. So you just getting shit done now and counting down the clock. Again, like, for example, you get all your work done, all a day's work done halfway through the day. So you start on tomorrow's work. The universe, yeah, because the cycle is closed for you. You're ready for the next chapter. Because you know in this next chapter in your life, you're going to be on a whole new tax bracket because I'm literally seeing this is about finances. So I see you getting a new home, new car, moving somewhere else. I just see you in a whole new tax bracket in this new cycle. And you see that for yourself too already. And you, it's just a waiting game for you. Overall energy is stand your ground. Yeah, you're just focused. Seven of Wands. And you're just, you don't see any blockages for yourself anymore. You know, yeah. And I cut the deck and see all these fives, obstacles and challenges and then financial and uh, material change. And you have one, two, 21, and seven. All right, for Leo. I don't know why I just saw a honey pot. But I always get bees and stuff for you, Leo. If you've been watching my channel for long enough, every Leo reading, no matter what deck I use, there's bees or something. Mature man, five, this could be you or you could be dealing with someone that's older than you, a male that's older than you, or they're just mature um, emotionally. Privileged lady, yes. Journey. So someone could be traveling to see you or vice versa, false person. So there's a false person trying to come see you or your person if you are in a relationship. So I don't know if this privileged lady is the false person or this mature man is thoughts this there's a false person thinking of you thinking of coming to see you 
message. Yeah, they're going to send you a message. Overall energy is community. So this could be someone who lives close to you or they used to. This could be family, friend, work, or love. Community is just people close to you. Distant horizons. This person may be letting you know ahead of time, like, I'm going to be in town in the next three to six months, because that's the time frame for distant horizon. The next three to six months, someone may be letting you, uh, asking you, like, can I come stay with you when I come into town? And you're like, no. Stand, stand your ground, no. Or someone could just be asking you for something, and you're like, no. Or they asking your person this. Yeah, because literally, it's a fake ass person who's thinking of you and is going to send you a message. And you're standing your ground on this. I see that snow cone again. Of someone trying to sleep with you or your person i don't even feel like they'll get the chance get like the message is probably going to be ignored or just shot down yeah look let me in and book someone trying to repeat a cycle that's already been there done that the uh wonder of the world privileged lady trap <laughs> twins yeah someone trying to get somebody pregnant on purpose or get pregnant by somebody on purpose Family, or if it's not a pregnancy, it's someone trying to implant something in uh, someone's mind. Maybe a seed of doubt or something. It could literally be family doing this. Illness with message. They lying about that shit. Or they using that to get close to someone. So either someone's using someone's illness to get close to them or acting like they need help. But they are lying in some way, shape or form. It's about money. Harvest as I cut the deck. Could be a Virgo involved. Doesn't have to be in Boogeyman. This is someone who keeps coming back. They keep showing up like a stalker. They keep popping up. Just note, take note of when they pop up. It's always when you're doing well or when they need help. But any other time, they're not around. And with book, this is like a cycle that's as old as time. You know this person's pattern. They act like they want one thing, but they're really trying to get you stuck in something. Someone's trying to trap someone in some way, shape, or form. But I feel like it's all, the, the core purpose of it is money. Extortion, I heard extortion. I don't fully know what that word means, but I heard the word extortion. I would look it up, but I don't feel like it. <laughs> all right, so no, I meant to look up trap. I mean, not trap, the wonder of the world, but the, I guess they wanted me to read that to you. So get out. I mean, I told you not to go into that house upright. Take the advice of a trusted friend. It helps to have an outside perspective. So yeah, ask someone who has nothing to do with the situation, who does not benefit from the situation at all, who can't pick sides. Ask an outside influence about it. Reverse, trust your instincts. You know when something's wrong. All right, well, wonder of the world. And then I'm gonna get into your other decks. I don't know why I'm hearing the BBL Drizzy song. Oh my gosh, y'all. Wonder of the world, <laughs> King Kong. I'm going to show you the greatest thing your eyes have ever beheld. Upright, fortune favors the bold. And that's what I was saying at the beginning. Ferocity, advantage, survival. You know where you're going. Reversed, overconfidence can bring a tragic ending. I don't feel like you're overconfident at all. I feel like you know what you got going on. Other people could be trying to tell you, no, calm down, whatever. Or trying to, I don't think anyone's telling you to calm down, dog. I just feel like they're trying to distract you. Oh, your family needs you. So-and-so is sick. Or they're trying to tell you you're sick and you need to rest or blah, blah, blah. It's just like, <sighs> I feel like you have the energy to be on, go, to just keep going to work. And that's what you should do. I'm holding this up because if you want to pause it, you should definitely read that. And clearly they wanted you to see Get Out because I flipped to that by accident. So let me show you that too. And then we're going to get into um, the other decks. So feel free to pause those and read that. Hmm, Book is a good one too. All right, this is the last one because I'm pausing it too much.
and it says, um, you'll see him if you look upright. Well, you can read between the lines. What, oh, what can you read between the lines? Reversed. Will turning the page open Pandora's box? Okay. I just feel the need to read things for listeners who can't see very well. All right, for Leo. All right, 11, sun, paint the sun back into your sky. Of course you get the sun card, Leo, in any deck. But it's like, yeah, you're focused on you. It's not like you're not empathetic and compassionate. You clearly are. You still, because I see you still giving some level of empathy and concern for these people, but you have your limits. You have your boundaries. Because I don't feel like all of you are completely turning these people down or turning them away. You care for these people, but you're just like, look, I can only help you to a certain extent. You're not about to block me from my goals because now you're slowing me down. You have, you're just putting boundaries. You have limits with these people. Feast, slow down and celebrate yourself. Yeah, you like, look, I got this going on. Every time I got something going on, here you come. Yeah, like the boogeyman, they, they just pop up. Like, damn, did you even consider me? Protest, start a revolution with 28, yeah, with trap, trying to trap you into like helping them, making you feel obligated. This is like someone who does something for you and it seems like it's out of the kindness of their heart and then like they flip it around like oh can you help me with this it's like that's the reason you did that for me you only did that because you wanted me to do something thorns we together the crown you deserve 14 sorry if i started y'all i had coffee this morning so i'm all over the place someone could be eating some type of peanuts i don't know if it's cashews or something gray endings are inevitable 37 and mural be your own first priority that's straightforward 25 overall energy is 15 garden something lovely will grow from this you're just having to be a little more selfish at this time spaceship don't be afraid to sing don't be afraid to speak up 43 you're just not you're just not going for it it's just like again you care about these people to a certain extent, but you're like, you're building up your life. It's time for you to get the life that you deserve, the things that you want in this cycle at this time. Like with that universe, that world card, you're closing out a cycle, you're standing your ground, and you focused on you. Some people are going to leave your life because of this, but those are people who just wanted to use you and benefit from you anyway. It's time for you to be your own first priority and, and create the life that you want and set these boundaries. Let's start a revolution. That's clearly you setting boundaries. will stand your ground. Weave together the crown you deserve. It's basically you making the life that you deserve and you want. Doing things that make you happy. And then running around for others. It says slow down and celebrate yourself. So make sure, because you're going to be accomplishing all these goals in a, in a short span of time. So they're making sure that you celebrate as you go. And celebrate how far you've come because you've just closed out a cycle. So congratulations, Leo. Almost said Scorpio. So you could be dealing with one or have it highly aspected. Um, the Emperor, Eight of Swords, Six of Swords, Four of Wands, and the High Priestess just fell out. Judgment, most definitely. Knight of Swords. Yeah, you like, look, I'm getting to the bag. <laughs> That's what I heard <laughs> with Judgment and Knight of Swords. I'm getting to the bag. I'm getting to the money, okay? Period. Eight of Cups and walking away from what no longer serves you, what's hindering you from that. Wheel of Fortune could be emotionally having to detach. Yeah, going into a new cycle, Wheel of Fortune, good karma. You know that what you put in something is what you're going to get back. So you're creating that good karma. Nine of Swords, gray endings are inevitable. Don't worry about what's leaving your life. Don't worry about it. Easier said than done, I know. Page of Pentacles, taking your time, being patient. Ten of Swords. Five of Cups and the Death card. 
Yeah, there goes that Scorpio energy I was seeing. Overall energy is the magician. Gemini and Virgo energy, you're manifesting at this time. It's like you're someone who understands karma. That's what the revenge card is for you. Okay, it's more so about karma, cause and effect. You know, basically, if I work hard now, I'm going to see them results. <laughs> And you know it's not going to happen. You can't make it speed up. But you know if you put in that work now, it's going to come back to you. Guarding something lovely will grow from this. And I feel like with the Ten of Swords, Five of Cups, and the Death card, uh, yeah, basically a cycle has closed. Past disappointments and regret, things that were weighing on you, especially emotionally and mentally, you've walked away from, you've detached, you've let that go. And you've had to let go of some people you cared about in order to get to this space. You had to make a judgment call to do what's best for you. Leos are definitely like a no hard feelings type of person. Y'all don't really be holding grudges or you don't, at the very least, you don't let a grudge hold you back from moving forward and living your best life. Clarifying judgment. Yep, six of swords. Making a judgment call to let go. You literally have six of swords and eight of cups and the death card and the ten of swords and the wheel of fortune. You're like, I'm I'm good. I'm done with that. You let it go. Yeah, because it was hindering you to a sword. You made a judgment call like, no, this is not, not going to keep me stuck here or keep slowing me down. The maker and with the knight of swords, that's when it all costs, going after what you want energy, that advantage energy. And you're creating, the maker is one of the like two extra cards in this deck. And it's basically what it says. You're creating the life you want. The world, so many cards and even with the oracle cards, a cycle is over. You're, you're in a new one. You're in a cycle of no excuses. I'm going to get what I want. I'm going to create the life that I want, period. Clarifying the Eight of Cups is the Five of Pentacles. Walking away from just lack. You may feel like you're abandoning someone or they're abandoning you, but it's like you're just walking away from a lack mentality in general. Whether that's in any form. Temperance. And it's giving you peace. Sagittarius energy. It's giving you a lot of peace. And then there goes the sun with the Wheel of Fortune in this new cycle. I love that. And then the Patreon is the second the card of the two extra cards in this deck. And it's basically a mirror that's foggy. So it's like your perception is confused because you're coming into a new version of you and you're waiting to see that version of you. Also, you could have been looking for a way out, some clarity, a savior, and the mirror is finally clearing up and you're seeing you with the sun here. You are the savior. You're coming into the new version of yourself. The, the reflection is clear now. Also, you've done some shadow work. I love that with the patron and the sun here, it clarifying the wheel of fortune, beautiful energy. Queen of cups. You could be anxious, but this could be a Scorpio as well. That's full of a lot of anxiety and worry, strength. But I see you moving forward. I, I feel like you strengthen mentally and emotionally here. You've gotten through the nine of swords and that's why you go from the nine to the 10. It took some time. You had to be very patient with yourself. Page of pentacles. It took a while to get here. King of cups, king and queen of cups here with the empress. Because you've done the work on yourself mentally and emotionally, you're meeting someone who matches that same energy. Who's also done that work. And I also feel like it's just your, your, your masculine and feminine when it comes to the mental and emotional and intuitive aspects of yourself, it's balanced. So you know how to give and receive. And then there's someone coming in to match your energy if that's what you want. But you're definitely in this empress energy. Doesn't matter what your gender is. I heard you're in flow. And that's Libra Taurus energy with the uh, with the empress. Clarifying the ten of swords is the five of cups. What I've been saying this entire time, five of cups is here twice. An ending to regrets and past disappointments. The lovers, you made that choice, that decision.
clarifying the five of cups is the full new beginning. You made the decision to put in the work and just put it to rest. Ten of Swords again, clarifying. That's crazy. So you have the Five of Cups clarifying the Ten of Swords here. And right beside is the Five of Cups being clarified by the Ten of Swords. You're just over it. You've done the work. You've moved on the full new beginning. Clarifying the Death card is the High Priestess. And I heard um, you move forward and healed with or without an apology. And the Five of Swords with the High Priestess and the Death card. Yeah, your intuition definitely got a major growth spurt. Major growth spurt. Overall energy, eight of wands energy. I don't know why I'm tasting cheese. Y'all eating cheese straight out the pack? Don't do that while you're watching this. Because <laughs> I can taste it. Eating cheese straight out the pack is crazy. Now I'm seeing pickles. Why are y'all eating that? You can eat it, but please don't eat it while you watch me. <laughs> I'm tasting jalapenos and you know what i'm talking shit and i'm about to make a charcuterie board with all those things on it so let me stop talking shit but i said eight of wands in the beginning a lot of energy coming towards you a lot of fast movement you focused on your goals a lot of people wanting to come towards you and work with you i heard a lot of responsibility i see you moving very fast eight of wands sagittarius energy Vitality, 32. Productivity, literally, 8. Purification, 41. Purifying your energy, that's clearly all through this. Happiness with the sun card here, and then you had the other cards painting the sun back into your sky. You're being happy, you're being productive, you're full of energy. Purified because you've let go of all that baggage, mentally, emotionally, financially, physically, in every way. Death card here refinement and becoming the best version of yourself with the patreon card and regeneration here and stimulation literally just confirming everything i said but i'm gonna leave it there congratulations leo clap it up for yourself i'm gonna leave it there i send you peace blessings and love namaste